Welcome back to Carnades.org. Today we're going to be continuing with our series, Making Voting More Democratic, looking at desirability conditions for voting systems. In this video, we will be looking at always a winner criterion. Now, the always a winner criterion is a pretty simple criterion. It asks that our voting system produce at least one winner. This is not to say that ties are not allowed. We can have two winners, three winners. The voting system can even declare everyone a winner but rather that systems which declare that there is no winner do not meet this criteria. This is going to come in very important when we look at some of the impossibility theorems that come out of voting systems. Now, is it desirable? It seems quite desirable. What use is a voting system if we don't have a winner by the end of it? It seems that we defeat the whole point of voting if we don't have some set of societal preferences that come out of it. At least we need a couple of winners that are tied, maybe, but no winner really seems like an unacceptable situation. Now, the only system that doesn't always produce a winner is the Condorcet method. This is because in situations such as the one below, there is no Condorcet winner. E beats D, D beats F, and F beats E. Defeating someone is not transitive, so... An example to write, pairwise winning is not transitive. Candidate E beats D 2 to 1, D beats F 2 to 1. However, though you might think that that should mean that E should beat F, in fact, F beats E, so none of them can be declared a winner. The Condorcet method does not say that they're all winners or they're all tied. It says that none of them are winners. And this is going to come in importantly in some of the other criteria that we look at and arrows and possibility theorem. So, looking at what we have so far, all of our systems passed unrestricted domain and range, and everything but the Condorcet method passed the always a winner criteria. Next up, we're going to be looking at monotonicity in voting systems, followed by the Pareto condition, the Condorcet win criterion, the independence of irrelevant alternatives, and finally, non-dictatorship. Watch this video and more here at Carnades.org, and watch a new video on voting criteria every single day this week. Stay skeptical, everybody.